This is Master Gio at Exotica, New Jersey with the lovely Onyx Muse. Hello, Hi. Onyx. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Very excited to be here again. Well, welcome back to Exotica. Yeah, it's been a few years. 2014, yes, so yes. it's about time I made a comeback. I agree. I agree. Last time I saw you was in 2015, so what are you up to now? So, um, I am doing camming now, um, and also what I do is I have a cam studio in Vegas. So, I um, have uh, three cam stations, I provide all the equipment, um, I also train girls, so I work with all kinds of girls. Um, you know, they could be normal girls, they could be strippers, they could be um, stars, starlets who just aren't doing the business anymore, but they still have a fan base. Um, I also have a photography room, um, so I help them with content, and I have a podcast room, but I also do social media, so I help with their marketing and promotion. So, uh, how did this idea come to you? Well, you know, I was in the industry, and I got to learn a lot about the behind the scenes, but when I was in, I just saw this, like, camming world, and I got real fascinated with it. And I just looked into it, and really how it came about was I was solely actually trying to learn camming for myself. And I worked with these cam studios that wanted me to train their talent, but um, they just had, like, a lot of problems. You know, they were missing some things. And really what camming, like, you need these girls. Like, these girls' consistency and also just their integrity to keep going. Um, you know, there was girls falling off and I was just like, oh my God, what are you guys doing? So I just decided to do it myself. And um, I just invested in equipment, you know, a lot of stuff I learned from the business that maybe these girls also, you know, I wanna work with girls, you know, there's, there's girls that are mothers or they um, don't really have their place set up, or maybe it's like a financial setback that they can't like invest their money in the right stuff. So I have it all for them so they can um, pay. I have like a hourly rate, only like $5 an hour, but I, I make it a requirement to do at least six hours. Okay. So it's like 30 bucks a day. Um, they could come, they can utilize the space and get whatever they need out of it. But I also educate them, so I really, I, you know, get set, I show them okay. information, some documentaries. I can really break it down. I give them examples, and I actually also let them uh, come in and watch me cam, and then I allow them to cam with me so that my network can see who these girls are, and you know, and then you know, help them right. build a fan base themselves. That is so cool. I, I, I mean this honestly. This is one of the, the best, the coolest idea, best idea I've heard this all day and in, the, in a long time in the industry. So awesome, Onyx. I'm glad you're doing this. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling very helpful for the future. And uh, you yourself, what do you like most about doing camming? Well, what I like is, is that I have the freedom to do whatever I want and be whatever character I want so I'm really really into fetish that is my passion I just really like it and so I like that I can do that I'm also a dancer I have a stripper pole so it's kind of cool I can kind of give them a strip club experience virtually um, but I and I do funny shit I like smoke weed on there I put banana outfits on and um, clown noses. I do a lot of color theory, but I just try to make it fun. Well, it sounds like fun, and sounds, and I can clearly see you enjoy yourself. So, <laughs> all right. Any final words? Um, just uh, follow me on Twitter. That's Onyx Muse XXX. And if you guys ever wanted to catch my cam shows, I am on my free cams, and that's Onyx Muse XXX. Definitely check me out and see what I'm doing now. All right. Thank you so much, Onyx. Thank